Okay, before I start this review, I just wanted to mention that uh, one of the people in the comments of the previous video, uh, Chugarotex, if I'm pronouncing that right, correctly predicted that the next review I was going to do would be the Tenkai Titan, something to go with the Tenkai Knight that I had just reviewed. Uh, but then this thing arrives in the mail. I had ordered it a, cup, a couple of... I, I ordered it like uh, late last week and I didn't think that it would arrive so soon. And well, you know, this is something that I've been wanting for such a long time. That's right, it's Rouge the Bat in plush form. I know a lot of you are probably mad at me right now because uh, from the title of the video you are expecting this to be the long anticipated uh, Rouge action figure from Jazzwares. Um, I did find out that that thing is in principle supposed to be turning up already and should have been at least since December 28th when the announcement was made on Facebook. But not only have I not seen it in stores but I also looked in all the places I could think of online like um, Toy, Toy Island or um, uh, eBay, Amazon, Sonic Merchandise, you know, all those places, and I couldn't find so much as a preview image. I did, however, stumble across a website called uh, CircleRed.com that had the Rouge plush available for only $12.99. Um, I had only ever seen this figure for sale for like 20 odd bucks plus shipping, which would make her too expensive for me. But uh, the 11 inch Rouge figure for that price, I just couldn't resist it. So I only have this figure because I went searching for the Rouge action figure. And yes, yes, the old Toy Island Rouge figure is still $200. So even though that's one of my Holy Grail figures, I still don't quite think I'll be getting her anytime soon. Okay, so here is the plushy close up. We Um, she is pretty nice. She's made out of smooth material, um, very, very fine. Uh, she has, uh, tampographed on eyes and makeup. And, uh, she even has a little stitched in cleavage, which is, which is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of the Rangiku Matsumoto figures I saw at Comic-Con. And she has this string coming out of her head so you can hang her if you want. Um, her... Her wings are made out of this uh, stiffer purple material. Um, although they have this crease that I think they're supposed to come out like this. See? Like that. But they keep folding in on themselves. Um, although the tips of them are stitched to her ears, so they'll always be in an upright position. So you don't have to worry about having your rouge figure for a while, and then her wings start to droop at an, uh, at an angle that doesn't look natural for a bat. Uh, yeah, she has individually stitched fingers, which is very nice. Um, and she has some pretty thick legs that, uh, are relatively stiff. They, they're, like, made out of lots of layers of fabric, and they have a good amount of stuffing to make sure that they won't lose their shape. And she has, like, she has, uh, different color materials that make up the soles of her shoes and the rest of the heel. It's a really nice touch. That this is a highly detailed little figure. Um, plush. You still call it a figure if it's a plush? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, really nice, and there's a lot of loving detail put into it. This is high quality stuff. Yeah, this isn't this isn't just uh, your low grade carnival fair that you find. This is a. Uh, this is a, a really high quality plush that's actually made for people who are fans of the character and the franchise in general. Uh, if, uh, I would recommend going to CircleRed.com and getting it if you can, because if you've been wanting a Rouge plush but you don't want to spend like $20 or test your luck in a UFO catcher, which is where these things would normally be found, I would, um, I would totally give it a shot. It's really nice. Uh, let's compare her to a couple of other plushes that I happen to have on hand right now.
Okay, so the Rouge figure is made by a company called, um, uh, let me, let me read the tag here. It's, uh, Great Eastern Entertainment. That's the company that makes the figures in this style. Um, this is one of my favorite Sonic plushes. I got this one in a, in a claw machine at Ride Playland a few years ago. It's made by, um, by a different company called, uh, Toy Network LLC. Um, this Sonic plush is nice. It's it's really nice. Uh, they 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 went into the same kind of loving detail, and it's a great looking Sonic plush. There's just a few differences aesthetically. Um, it's not that one is better than the other. It's just that they have uh, the they're different. Uh, one thing, if you look at Sonic's hand, he only has four fingers. Well, they made sure to give Rouge five fingers. Um, also, if you look at the types of fabric, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on the camera, but, um, Sonic is fuzzier than Rouge. He's made out of a softer kind of plastic, the kind that you would actually want rubbing against your face. I think they actually did intend for little kids to sleep with this at night, because it's so cuddly. And that's another thing, he's a little, uh, he's still well stuffed, but he's a little softer and floppier than Rouge is, and so he can't stand. He collapses under his own weight. Um, also, instead of having tampographed eyes, his eyes are buttons. He has... Hey! Hey! Stupid tripod. Yeah, he has uh, actual plastic button eyes. Yeah. So like, like I said, this doesn't mean that one is better than the other. They're just two different styles of making a plush. I do have other plushies that have been made by Great Eastern Entertainment. Here's... Here's one of classic Amy. Uh, she's a bit of a smaller figure. Um, she She's done in very much the same style as Rouge. She has a smoother fabric, tampographed eyes and mouth. Um, although this one, it's been made with these swinging legs. Like, you can see when they're, where they're stitched in up there, they're stitched in with a very flat seam rather than being a round seam like what Rouge has. Um, this is probably so that the figure can look nicer when it's sitting. Mm hmm because she can sit really nicely or maybe it's just so that um, like if you hung her up like off your rearview mirror as your car moved around her legs would animate around although I, I wouldn't recommend putting a figure this big on your rearview mirror because it might count as a viewing obstruction uh, although for classic Amy she scales pretty good next to modern Rouge would work better if you could see both of them yeah I mean, that looks like your Sonic Generations height comparison. Okay, so, it's kind of weird reviewing a plushie on this channel, because um, if I was talking about a Transformer, I could talk about its various modes and its transformation, or if I was even talking about a regular action figure, I would talk about uh, articulation and stuff. But with a plush, once you get past how it looks and the, and the, the quality of its construction, there's really not much to talk about. So, I think that this is a good place to end the video. Uh, the Rouge plush is very nice. And yes, I do have a collection of Sonic the Hedgehog plushies. I have just about every character that I could care to have. Um, may as well list them off. Uh, Sonic, Knuckles, Shadow, Tails, um, Amy. I also had the classic Sonic and Tails plushies that were actually made in the early 90s when I was a little kid. Um, I have a Cream the Rabbit made by this company. I also have a Knuckles made by this company. Um, I have the little the little White Wisp plush that they gave out at Comic Con a few years ago um, as a freebie for anyone who showed up at the Sega booth dressed as a Sega character. Um, huh. I think that's it. Oh yeah, yeah. I have a Super Sonic plush. Uh, a friend of mine gave it to me for my birthday. Yeah. If you guys want to see those plushes, uh, just let me know. Maybe I'll do a quick video montage. But, um, you know, it, I don't do plush reviews on this channel. And that's just a little quiet collection I have. It's not something I even keep displayed. Well, ex except for that one Sonic plush that I always keep on top of my comic book collection. But that's just because he's my quintessential Sonic figure. All right, all right. I, I talked too much. This is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001, and I'm signing out.